I'm Dr. Ross Martin, Director of Healthcare Informatics at Pfizer. I'd like to give you a tour of some of the work produced by a diverse group of collaborators over the last several months to create a framework and suite of open source software authoring tools for creating multi-purpose, standardized, computable clinical query expressions using the ANSI accredited HL7 standard, Jello, or guideline expression language. Now, if you're the kind of person who enjoys getting deep in the weeds of computerized clinical decision support, that last sentence may have really piqued your interest. For the rest of you, it probably made your eyes glaze over. So for those of you watching this video who may not be familiar with Jello and what it can do, I'll offer a little background. Today, there are a growing number of sources of electronically stored clinical data scattered throughout our healthcare system. These data sources are found in electronic health records, personal health records, electronic prescribing systems and the like, and are stored in many different formats. There is no single shared standardized format for clinical data. At the same time, there are many potential uses for these data, both for healthcare delivery at the point of care and for improving our healthcare system through secondary uses. Examples of these use cases include providing clinical decision support, public health monitoring and biosurveillance, benchmarking and assessing quality, matching patients to clinical trials, discovering patterns of adverse events or new indications for current therapies, meeting approval criteria for preauthorization of a medication. The list goes on. While all of these use cases have specific and unique needs, there is one need that they all share in common. They all need to ask questions of clinical data, be it for a specific patient or for a set of patients in the aggregate. In some instances, the data owner is the person needing to ask the question of the data as in the case of a physician using a clinical decision support tool while caring for a patient. In other cases, it is someone else, such as a researcher looking for patients for a clinical trial. Even when it's the data owner doing the questioning, the data owner may not be the author of the actual question being asked. In the case of a decision support rule set for selecting an initial therapy for a disease, the author of the rule set may have been a panel of experts who have published these rules in both human readable and computable form. That expert panel has no way of knowing exactly how the clinical data in a particular system are structured. They can be almost certain, though, that there are differences between systems. It would be ideal, perhaps, if all the data were stored in a standardized and unambiguous way, modeled, say, after the HL7 version 3 reference information model, or RIM. But this migration over to a universal data standard will take years, if not decades and will require a great deal of effort and money as legacy systems are converted over to standardized data formats. So what we end up with today is a classic many-to-many -many relationship of various entities seeking answers to many questions from many data sources in various formats. What we need then is a lingua franca, a common language of commerce for exchanging clinical questions. Sounds like a great place for a standard, and that's where Jello comes in. So let's spend just a few moments on Jello. Jello, also known as the Guideline Expression Language, was developed over the last several years by medical informaticians at several medical, academic, and commercial institutions. Jello was balloted as an HL7 standard in January 2005 and became an American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, standard in May of 2005. Jello is a class based, object oriented language that is based on the object constraint language developed by the Object Management Group. Relevant components of OCL have been selected and integrated into Jello to provide a suitable framework for manipulation of clinical data for decision support in healthcare. In this context, it provides a standard interface to medical record systems and other data or knowledge sources, specifying decision criteria and abstracting or deriving summary values. In other words, Jello provides a fundamental building block for asking questions of clinical data in a standard way. Now, for any given use case, it would probably be easier just to solve this problem without regard for all the other potential use cases. The problem is, how do you get every clinical software vendor out there to comply to your way of solving the problem? Say I'm from the American College of Left Hemispheric Angiography, and I want to publish a computable best practice guideline on the proper use of angiography for the left hemisphere of the brain. I'm probably not going to have much luck getting many vendors to map their systems to my guideline. But if everyone who wants to publish a guideline, prior authorization criteria set, clinical trial protocol, or quality benchmark embeds their document with a standardized query language like Jello, then it makes it worth the while of the vendor to map to that standard. This is the ultimate goal of this effort. 
to promote the use of a common expression language for asking clinical questions. To get there, it made the most sense to our group of collaborators to start by building an open source Jello authoring tool and a mechanism for sharing Jello expressions that could be used in multiple settings. We hope that others will see the potential benefits of developing these tools in an open source environment in support of these many use cases and will join with a community of developers to accelerate this process. This demonstration will walk through the overall design of the authoring tool using drug prior authorization as the initial use case. We chose this use case because it is relatively straightforward compared with some of the other use cases and because it builds upon earlier research on Jell-O supported through the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, or ARC. Some portions of this demonstration are still in development. For others, we've completed the first release of the software. Still others are simply mock-ups of parts of the process that would be done using other applications, such as an electronic prescribing tool. We're leveraging a number of other open source projects in developing this one. To name just a few, we're using Subversion as our source code repository system for the development environment. MySQL is our relational database. Apache is running as our web server. By taking advantage of existing open source software, we're able to accelerate our development cycle while reducing our total costs. One last thing. We're not trying to say that Jello is the end-all and be-all solution for healthcare. We've actually tried to stay fairly agnostic about choosing an expression language. Jello seems to be the best fit, though we know it has limitations. The important thing is to choose one and take it as far as we can. If another more suitable lingua franca becomes available, we can move to that language standard instead. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and see why we're excited about the potential of creating a common approach to clinical queries. All that's left now is for you to join in the fun. Together we can change the world, but no measure of passion or strength.